Good morning everybody. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to stop into my channel. Um, we're going to work on the green truck some more today. Um, I kind of got the exhaust on. It's not going to be permanent, but at least we can see how it sounds with a muffler. Um, secondly, when I had this computer flashed, tuned, whatever, I had it and the guy programmed the e-fans. These are not for this truck, however, I'm kind of going to make my own harness for them. But for these 99th row 2 computers, um, you can either do single speed or dual speed. He did dual speed so the recirculation door does not work anymore. Um, not a huge deal because this truck doesn't have AC. So what I'm going to do is put the uh, put a factory ECM in that. Make sure the blend door is open so it's not on recirculate. Not blend door. The uh, you know, recirculation door is open. And then put the other one back in. And then uh, we can go from there. So I know I'm going to get questions about this. So you can see blue 42 is low speed cooling fan relay. Oh, this is green. I think they're the same pins on both, but this one's green instead of red. It is. See, in green, it's not used, but can be used for fan 2 control. On the red one, it's the recirculation door. And this guy will show you that it no longer works. All right. So we have turn the heat off. So we'll get that going. So everything works as far as that goes, but the circulation door no longer functions. Oh, there we go. It does. Well, never mind then. All right. Well, now you guys can see how it sounds with a muffler on it. truck is still not quiet by any means but it is definitely a lot more tolerable so that is huge plus I'll turn it off and I'll show you guys what I did with the exhaust and what I plan to do to make it actually fit good before we leave the cab of the truck though I wanted to uh, mention that this recirculation might not work once we put the dual speed e fans in so I'll, I'm anxious to see what it'll do after I unplug that pin because there is a pin for whatever reason that goes to the ECM there's recirculation door. I've heard that it's for when the engine gets too warm, it'll like as a last ditch effort, it'll try and uh, you know get some air going through the heater core. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what I've read. Um, at any rate, I want to see what happens when we completely take that pin out for the dual speed e fans. Because right now we have a clutch fan. I'll show you that here in a second. I plan on taking all that off and going with the uh, like 2010-ish F-150 fans. From what I've read, they pretty much bolt right on. They fit on the radiator good. You might have to kind of fabricate a little bit of a mount on the bottom, but just make a harness for it, and then uh, it's ready to go. So let's get out and take a look. And uh, some people have asked why I don't have an engine cover on this. It's because this manifold is out of a van, so it's not 
threaded for the engine cover, which kind of sucks. I didn't know that at the time, but here we are. You see this fan comes very close to the intake boot. Another reason why I want to get rid of it. So we'll get this off, get all this off. This truck already has a 34 inch radiator, but for the exhaust, we just have stock manifolds. Cut the Jags off road Y pipe. It fits pretty darn good. I cut the end of it off and put a ball flange on it. And then I now always have a piece of straight pipe, and the angle it's at, it goes right towards the frame. So I got it tied up here on this uh, you know, exhaust mount. So we need to get like an offset pipe or maybe like a 45. That might work actually. A 45 bend to kind of get it away from the frame. I mean, it works decently for now. That way it's not at least, you know, stupid loud, but not exactly how I want it. So I think we get a 45 bend, see if that helps things. So I found the printout for the 99th row two, the blue and red connectors. This is what I used for this green truck. So everything I have written down here on the side, is from the factory OBS harness that I put into like these connectors. This one's all stripped out, but when I got my harness, you take out some of some of the LS stuff, and you put it on a couple things like the fuel pump, relay control, engine tack speed, things like that. If you want to keep cruise control, a couple things. But oh, here we go. So red 33 is the HVAC recirculation door control. And I have the guy turn it on for fan two control. So this will have dual speed control, which I found a printout online. My awesome diagram I got here, kind of trying to put it together. I um, mean, you get some more wire. You can never go too thick with this. So you use a minimum of 12 gauge. I'm going to use 10 gauge. Um, but I'll cover that in another video. These are the e-fans for the black truck. That truck has a six liter for those of you it might be new to the channel, um, but it does have the small radiator. We're going to get the 34, put the factory 05, 06 E fans on it. Got my Nelson's harness. This harness only uses one pin, so I'll keep my recirculation and everything, but they figured that made it work. However, both fans will turn on when they need to. There we go. So even though the exhaust is not 100% you know, the way I want it to be, you still get an idea of how it sounds. I think it sounds pretty darn good. Um, it doesn't sound like it's cammed, obviously, even though it has a six liter cam and a 5.3 um, flat top pistons, ported throttle body, ported intake manifold, and uh, no cats. So for, for what it is, I think it sounds pretty darn good. Um, I did drive it last night, just down the block. Uh, maybe I'll do that here now to show you guys it actually runs a lot better with that wide pipe and some tubing you know scavenges the exhaust better and maybe it just I don't know, it feels like it runs better maybe just because it doesn't sound so stupid loud but uh yeah maybe we'll just take it around the block real quick excited about how this thing runs I was actually pretty surprised last night I kind of got on it and it scoots I'm not gonna lie it kind of surprised me for having 33s and you know the factory OBS uh, transmission with the factory torque converter I've heard that you want to upgrade it because you know the old 350s had more low-end torque so they had a lower stall <clears throat> not sure if there's any truth to that but I just kept everything factory this I want to do this one as you know cheap as possible, and uh, I don't know. It just it runs pretty darn good. It doesn't feel like it's a dog off the line or anything.
driving something with the factory torque converter. <clears throat> kind of thought, I forgot about how, uh, how I guess easy it is on the throttle. Not that my truck's hard to drive, the black one with the 3000 stall, it's just this is a little more convenient. Really anxious to see what kind of fuel mileage this thing gets now. Uh, I think these trucks are a little bit lighter than the NBS trucks. So, you know, allowing this 5.3 to breathe, a little more compression, getting a little more efficiency out of the engine. Oh, I don't have the tail lights plugged in, so the turn signals don't work. up somewhere and you know, get on it but we got a community yard sale going on so there's tons of people out so I'm not trying to do anything stupid so we're kind of at the point in the swap where we start you know hitting the little things tinkering with the small things uh, maintenance wise like probably change a lot of fluid in it maybe the transmission because it sat for four years the engine because you know I've turned it on and off a lot of times hasn't really warmed up completely all the time and you know from having it apart put it together there might be some crap in the oil so Oil's cheap, um, cheap insurance. Change that. Um, I'm gonna change the fuel filter, um, maybe the front rear diff, all, all that stuff. And then the transfer case, get a new set of tires, redo that mess of a wiring harness, whatever's going on back here for the taillights and the trailer plug. That is hideous, but I'm no electrician, so that might take some time, and that's boring stuff, but. Yeah, and then maybe, you know, get the windows tinted, you know, E-fans, like I said. I don't want to go too crazy with this because it is just a project truck that I do not plan on keeping forever. But, yeah. And if you guys didn't catch the last video, this is the 5.3 my wife and I pulled from the junkyard for her 65 Chevy pickup. It is cracked. Um, a lot of people, you know, got a lot of feedback on my last video, which is great. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and I called the machine shop and just like you guys said, it's junk. But I don't think we're gonna get rid of it. I think we will keep it. Um, I'll use it to mock up harnesses, maybe get a set of junk heads bolted on. And then we're not using it, we can just stuff it in a corner somewhere. But what we are gonna do is do the uh, the summit block. It, they already have a 5.3 that's bored over to the LS1 diameter, which is 3.898. And we can just get a set of pistons and get the crank polished, I already have the, I mean, yeah, it sucks that this block is no good, but we got everything else we need other than the pistons, to, you know, to have an engine that runs. So we got the timing cover, front and back, valve covers. Granted, they need to be washed, but that's easy. And then uh, we have a, a cam we got over here from 454 Chewy, back when he had a small Howard's cam. Now he's got a massive stage four cam and a new cam on the way, which he had talked me into getting a bigger cam for my six liter but that is uh, another story of getting sidetracked so once again everybody thank you for stopping in and taking time out of your day to uh check out my project see what i got going on if you like what you see you know, maybe hit the subscribe button um, follow me on instagram it's endless wishlist 6.0 we got a giveaway coming up i think i'm gonna do that next week um so follow me there for sure and i believe the next video after that maybe we'll do a q a i do those about once a month um, follow me there for some behind the scenes stuff um, for, for that you know that's it take care and I will see you guys next time